All right, so we are going on to lesson 2.5. It's estimating with two digit divisors. And you know that this is the divisor. So estimating though, this all goes back to your multiplication facts. If you don't know your multiplication facts, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge for you. But let's go ahead and get started and then know that if you're having some trouble, then you need to set aside some time every day to study those facts. This will become easier as the multiplication facts are committed to memory, okay? All right, so our problem that we start with um, is gonna be one of the problems from page 114 or 115. It's 291 divided by 33. So we're estimating, that's all we're doing is estimating. We're wanting to get in the ballpark. We're not looking to solve it right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is change the way this division problem is written. I'm gonna go ahead and write it as dividend first, which is 291 divided by 33 equals. All right, and I'm going to get this as basic and as simple as I can. So I'm gonna change this two digit divisor to 30. I'm doing that because I'm rounding. So you know, if I round to the tens place, look next door, five or greater, add one more, right? So this is either going to be 30 or 40. You've done this, so you know that this is going to go to 30. So we're gonna have a 30 up here, and we're gonna have a 30 down here, just as we talked about earlier in class today. 30 in both places. This is going to be my higher estimate, and this is going to be my lower estimate. All we're doing is estimating, keep that in mind. Okay, so what I do first thing when I see this is I go ahead and think to myself, getting rid of this three, I just think of three times what is close to 27. In my mind, that's what I'm focusing on. I no longer see this big division problem. I see three times what number would equal something close to 29. There's nothing that goes exactly to 29, but something that's close. Think about it. I know my multiplication facts, and I know that three times nine is 27. 27. So look right here. Down here, this is my lower spot, my lower estimation. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna put three times something over here, times something over here, would be 27. And since we're estimating, I'm gonna go ahead and put 270. So what was that? Three times, what was it? It was nine, right? So nine right here. So in the same family, 270 divided by 30 equals nine. I can change that around, as you know, and make a multiplication problem. So it would be nine times 30, that would equal 20, 270, excuse me, 270. This was my thought process to get this estimated as nine. All right, so now let's go the other way. If three times nine gave me 27, go to the higher estimate, what's three times 10? Three times 10 would be 30. So I can go ahead and put my 10 over here. Three times 10 is 30. So I'm gonna put 30 right here and then tack on that zero, okay? So in other words, here's what we found. We've estimated high, We've estimated low for my answer, for my quotient of this division problem, and I know that when I work this problem out right here, my answer will be between nine and 10. That's the conclusion here, okay? Really pretty simple once you get some practice with it. So let's go ahead and do another one. All right, go ahead and erase, and of course, you're doing this with you on paper. You're doing the step-by-step -step as I'm doing it. Don't erase, okay? All of the notes that you take, even your little multiplication over here on the side, what I had to get rid of, keep it, because when you refer back to it, it helps you to uh, see your process. And, and remember, tonight when you're at home wanting to do a problem, it'll help you remember, why did I put that multiplication problem there? So don't erase anything from your scratch paper, okay? All right, let's do this next problem. 
we're going to do um, 396 divided by 42. Okay? So we're wanting to estimate using what we call compatible numbers. That means fast facts, work, numbers that work together in the same family. Okay? So here we have 42. Remember the first thing we did? We're going to estimate 42, and it's either going to be 40 or 50. Okay, think about it. Go ahead. You could write it down right now. Write it up here and write it down below. Is it 40 or is it 50? It's 40. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put 40 up here and 40 down here. One's going to be our higher estimation of our answer, and one's going to be our lower estimation of our answer. Okay? Now thought process, what's going on in my head, right? I'm thinking four times what is close to 36. Four times what is close to 30, or 39. So I'm going like this, four times what is close to 39. This blue stuff is in my brain, okay? I'm, I'm thinking through that. All right. Fast facts, this is what you should know, 4 times 9 is 36, okay? 4 times 9 is 36. So again, I'm going to erase this, you keep it on your paper so you can remember. All right, erase this to get it out of my way. So 4 times 9 is 36, tack on that 0, right? Go ahead and draw that arrow if you want, tack on that 0. So my low estimate for this answer is 9. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one. So now if 4 times 9 was 300, or 36, excuse me, 4 times 9 is 36, we're going to go again, very similar to what we just did, 4 times 10, 4 times 10 would be 40, and then I have to tack on that 0. So again, by coincidence, the answer to this problem, 400, sorry, 396 divided by 42, the answer will be somewhere between 9 and 10. The whole number 9 or the whole number 10, somewhere in between there, okay? Which means you're going to have a remainder or go to decimals, okay? Should we do one more? Real quick, let's do one more. Maybe one that doesn't go to 9 and 10. Let's see about that. All right, how about if we did um, 503 divided by, let's see, 68 equals. All right, estimate. Step one, estimate. 60 or 70? 60 or 70? 70, right? Look next door, five or greater. All right, here's our 70 for our low estimate and for our high estimate. Okay, with my blue, you can color code too if you want. With my blue, six times what is close to 50? Six times what? I got to know my multiplication facts. Well, I know. Six times eight, so, or excuse me, seven in this case. We're thinking, let's erase that. That's okay. But in this case, we're going to be thinking 7 because that's what our estimate went to. Okay, good to know. So 7 times what is close to 50? 7 times 7 is 49. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this again. So 7 times 7 is 49. And then do what? Tack on the zero. Okay, so take that zero, tack it on. Okay, so if seven times seven is 49, I know this one is gonna be higher. I may not know my multiplication facts, but I know that one greater than seven is eight. You'll see that's a pattern, okay? So seven here, eight here. So eight times seven is, hopefully you know this, it's 56. Tack on my zero, 
So what does this tell me? Why am I doing this? It lets me know that this division problem, the answer to this division problem will be somewhere between seven and eight. All right, go practice some on your own.